So the young lady over here is Miss Adishina Chidima. She is a contestant for Miss South Africa 2024. Now she has been receiving a ton of backlash because people are saying she is not South African enough. Now how can that be? Well, her father is from Nigeria, he's an Igbo man, and her mom is Mozambican. Now here's the thing, her mother was born in South Africa, and so was she. She, she was also raised in South Africa, she, she can speak some of the languages and so forth. But people are saying because her father's from Nigeria and her mom has some um, descendants from Mozambique, she can't be South African and it's not South African enough. Now let me show you something. This over here is Miss Universe Ireland. Now obviously she does have some African descent and yet she was allowed to join the competition twice. The first time around 18, she never won it and now she's 24 and she has been crowned the first princess. Can you see how other nations and other societies simply take up the talent, just like uh, France with the football, and then we go on complaining about Mbappe from Cameroon and so forth, why can't African countries you know, hold their own players, whereas when we have our own talent, we discriminate against our own people. And now here's another story. This one is a bit wild. This is Miss Japan 2024. This is Miss Carolina. She was born in Ukraine and her parents are also not Japanese. But because she was raised in Japan and she has a passport, she can speak fluent Japanese. She won Miss Japan. Can you believe it? But now she's no longer Miss Japan because of an affair she had with a married man. But that's a story for another day. And finally, here we have Miss Chelsea Manalo from the Philippines, who also has some African descent, yet she's Miss Philippines 2024. They recognize the beauty and she is quite intelligent as well. I saw a few interviews and the way she answered those questions meant she was on point and she won it. Now, can you guys see where I'm going with this? So why can someone who was born in South Africa with a parent who was also born in South Africa, why can this person not join me South Africa? Come on guys, you need to wrap your heads around this. In fact, let's go to one of the most famous South Africans out there, Trevor Noah. Uh, to my left over here, or to your right, this is Trevor Noah's father, who is a Swedish man. Oh, sorry, he's from Switzerland, you know? So, Trevor Noah's mom is South African and his father's from Switzerland. Can we now say that Trevor Noah is not South African? Or do we just accept him because he's now famous, he now has a daily show in America, and he does all of these wonderful stand-up and everything? Is there a double standard over here? And on a side note over here, Trevor Noah's father has a nice little uh, logo on his shirt, which also happens to be a Masonic symbol. I don't know, is it part of the Masons? Yeah, I hate to be that guy, but this is what I'm talking about. And this too as well. Makes you wonder how Trevor Noah got all of those big breaks. But yeah, that's a story for another day. What you guys think?